And I am Randy Aldridge. And just so you know, Governor Roy Cooper made a stop in Wilmington today to see two massive Panamax cranes, mm -hmm. which were recently put at the state port. Well, WWY's Hannah Patrick joins us now with more on the visit. So, Hannah, what did the governor do while he was here? Amanda, you may remember a few months ago, a portion of the Cape Fear River was closed because two large cranes were coming up the river. The governor took a tour on top of those cranes today. And while he was here, we also spoke to him about some other big issues. Fair. Yeah, yeah. After months of planning, two new $30 million cranes are up at the Port of Wilmington. Pretty, pretty magnificent. Governor Roy Cooper wanted to make sure he got to see them up close. I wanted to see firsthand the effect that it could have on creating more jobs here. So he went to the top to get a firsthand look and he got a reminder to not look down. The massive new cranes will allow the port to accommodate larger boats side by side. We're pleased that this port here in Wilmington has the fastest turnaround time on the East Coast, which makes it very competitive. And while he was at the port, Cooper also discussed some other big topics like Gen X. Families deserve clean drinking water. Businesses deserve clean drinking water. The DEQ is going to continue to work for clean water, not only here in Wilmington, but across the state. I just wish we had more help from the General Assembly. He also talked about the film industry. I think a combination of things hurt it. Uh, one was killing the film incentives, and two was the passage of House Bill 2. Now that we've gotten House Bill 2 repealed, and now that we're back on the road, I'm hoping that the business here will pick up. In the meantime, Cooper says he is also fighting for public education. 37th in the country in teacher pay, 39th in the country in per pupil expenditure is absolutely unacceptable for North Carolina. And while Cooper continues to fight several uphill battles, he says he is glad things here at the port are looking up. While he was in Wilmington, the governor also talked about immigration and separating families at the border and says he's going to recall three members of the North Carolina National Guard from the border. Randy.